This neighborhood looks a lot different than it did right after the flood. It looked like a war zone, you know, then cars were flooded, uh, you know, houses were damaged. It was a lot of, a lot of problems. So the Lions are here walking through the community today, working with uh, the Delaware Volunteer Organizations Active in Disaster and the United Way in order to distribute boxes of supplies to the families in need. Last week we were uh, in the houses, uh, actually not with sledgehammers and power tools, cutting out the, the black mold that has uh, sort of grown up in all of these houses, making them unsafe to uh, inhabit. And uh, today uh, we are uh, distributing uh, supplies for families that don't have uh, electricity, that don't have the gas turned on. So we are bringing in uh, everything from uh, cleaning supplies so they can help clean their house, to food, to things for the children to do because many have lost everything that they own. So we are attempting to provide uh, just enough to be able to get them through uh, to, the, to the next day where we can come and bring some more supplies. So the $10,000 is being uh, spent out. It is buying N95 masks. It is buying gloves uh, for the work crews. It is helping to provide a continual support. Uh, and we are now uh, taking lists of what individual families needs and then seeing if we can meet those needs one-on-one uh, -on -one with our supplies.